do today. Um, I know I want to do a roll and tuck style, but I don't have too many styles. I don't really, I guess I should research, but I, I don't. Um, I was just lying in bed this morning and I was trying to come up with something in my head. So this style today, I have never even tried. I don't even know if it's going to work. So, on that note, this is going to just be probably a trial and error. <laughs> Hopefully not an error, but I am going to attempt to do something today. And I just know that I'm not going to be moisturizing my hair because I don't want it to have any shrinkage. So what I'm going to be using is the Moroccan oil. This is for protective styles and it's thermal serum and it's for normal hair, fine to normal hair. And this is by Design Essentials. And the reason why I'm using the serum is because it has less moisture but it actually gives you some shine. And I have small little knot. I really just need to keep the coconut oil in the bathroom. I don't know why I don't do that. Because I always need coconut oil. <laughs> to take out these spider knots. But I'm just going to loose my hair. I moisturized my hair uh, a day, not last night, but the night before. So it's not, it just feels nice. It's not, it's not dry, but it's not actually like super hydrated or anything. So, I'd be so impatient when I'm taking out my, my hair, especially when I have braids. Okay, so this is what I'm starting with, and I'm also going to probably use some of this olive oil cream by ORS, Organic Root Stimulator, my old school for all the OGs in the house. I'm just going to actually just add it to each section. Not a whole lot. I know that rolling tuck styles are super easy to do. I just, I don't know, I'm just lacking the creativity for some reason on coming up with Rolling tuck styles. So the image I had in my head was splitting, parting this down the middle. Guys, I hope this works. Because I'm, I'm only posting this video if it comes out right. I'm not posting it if this is a complete flop. Okay. And as you know, my mirror is downstairs. So I don't have a mirror to work with. So I hope this is parted straight. I, I normally part better with my fingers than using or a, you know a tool I don't know I just can just feel I just go by intuition my feeling and it just parts automatically and I don't believe I'm gonna need to have um, the part showing anyway because it's gonna be covered up 
it's just for you to make sections. So I'm going to do four sections going back. So you split it in half and then you do four sections. So this would be one section. And you really probably don't even need to comb it, but I'm going to comb. And the only thing that you will really need is hair ties. Forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. So since I'm parting it in four sections and it's split in two, you're going to need eight, eight hair ties. And I really wish, I'm going to, actually I do not want that camera full. I'll put it over here because I'm very clumsy at times. <laughs> and I need to see the whole camera being busted. Okay, so you want to put the hair tie in first and tie it around. It may be easy to just do this part first. And see, I wish I had the smaller bands because this you're going to have to keep. With hair ties, you're going to have to do it, ro roll it around, wrap it around a couple times. And then just um, take this and twist it. I hope, girl, girl, this is an experiment. I may just do the first two to see if it's going to work before I do my whole head. So this is what it looks like, just like a twisted, like a little girl, how you would twist your little girl's hair. And then I'm going to part this side, try to get it even. Get another one of these. I actually forgot to put the hair serum in here. It doesn't have to be super tight. And then you're just going to twist this part. I'm not sure if this is going to work the way I'm thinking it will. I was going to actually swing this over and swing this. Huh. I'm going to play with it, y'all. I really have never done this hairstyle before, but maybe sometimes when you experiment, you come up with new, new fresh ideas. So I'm going to take two bobby pins, and I'm using the small little baby mini bobby pins. on this side and pin it and then I'm going to take this one and swing it on that side and pin and pretty much that's what I'm going to be doing for the whole head is taking another section here I'm wondering if I really do need a hair tie. I don't know. Maybe it it does hold it better. I think this would work better with the little tiny elastic bands. 
but I don't have any so just keep that in mind when you're if you're attempting to try this style so I'm gonna twist this For some reason I want this not to be showing the part, but because I'm not sure. Maybe I should not have parted it in the middle. Because it makes it too defined. Or too pronounced, I should say. Since it's parted in the middle, it's like really Enhancing that. Okay, y'all. I'm just going to work with it. I'm not sure. For some reason, the reason I was thinking my hair would be fuller to cover, but it's not. For some reason, I was thinking the twist would be a lot fatter to kind of cover up the top part. I guess you can play around with it to create a design. Put it under or over. I may do something in the back differently. I split it down this way and pin. So if I, I'm gonna cross it over the other one, overlap it. And take this one and overlap. Kind of like crisscrossing it. So it's kind of like looking like a, a yeast roll. I don't know. You know, like those yeast rolls that are twisted up. I'm going to put a pin because I don't want that loose like that hanging down like that. I want to pin it. Kind of like. Actually, I don't want it to be pronounced. I'm just kind of push it up a little. Okay, y'all. That's what the side looks like. So I may, instead of doing the whole head like that, because I don't think the back is going to look good that way, I'm going to split it down the middle. But I'm not going to actually show that middle part is not going to be showing. And I am going to add, 
forgot to add it to the front, but I'm going to put it on the back. And I'm not going to add those um, hair ties in the back. I'm just going to twist it, a big fat twist, loosely, I don't want it to be tight, because I'm going to flip it upside down. And I guess to, to make this a little bit fancy for the holidays is to put like a, either some hair clips or some a flower on the side to make it a little bit cute. And you want to make sure that you, I see that sticking out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that just yet. There's a piece of hair sticking up. Um, I gotta conceal that. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that just yet. But I think this is my last one. so weird styling my hair dry because <laughs> I always have my hair is always like well moisturized when I'm styling it's usually super wet this may come out to be a cute rolling tuck good you know just something to protect your hair especially during quarantine you don't want to have it out loose. It does much better when your hair is protected. It grows better when your hair is t protected. So you have braid of the twist and I'm just going to wrap it around underneath and pull it up. And secure with a bobby pin. Feels a little loose. And this, for some reason, this side feels a little bit. I don't know, I can't. This side feels a little bit better than this side. <laughs> and what I can do, you know what would be a cute? I have, you can wear a headband. Let me see, I don't want to use that one. A headband would work. I'm so excited because I, I just think I just thought of that. Um, that would a headband would would work perfectly because it would actually conceal. I don't have my headbands here. See what I'm saying, you can actually add a flower to the style and just have it off to the side. Or if you don't want that big of a bow, you can just put a little flower. 
you know, just to add something a little cute in there for the holidays. But for some reason, I cannot find... I don't know what happened to that. I always have my stuff with gears so around the mirror. searching high and low for my headbands it's the container is holding up the can the camera <laughs> the container with my headbands and it is holding the camera up <laughs> y'all this is how I've been functioning okay just to this is crazy look Cray cray. Okay, so let me just lift you up. Just <laughs> I'll lift you up for a minute for me to get a headband. And since I have black on today, I mean I can go with a gray. Probably go with gray. I have a blue. I'll do blue for something to brighten up this gloom and doom or I could do red I could do this since it's the holidays to spice it up a little bit y'all bear with me okay so I'm gonna use this because it does have some a little bit of holiday cheer to it since I'm dressed so bland today. So I'm going to just swing this and I'm going to just put it just to conceal that section that I have. That section. Plus you want to conceal. I just don't want the part showing that much so you can I don't want it to look like I want it to be, <laughs> this may be a little bit too big, the, the band is not that tight, it's an older band, so. If this is not working, I just picked this because of the color, but it's, uh, it's kind of loose. I want to try it with a tighter band, and I know this is a uh, newer this is much new. This is so old, and it's on the elastic is kind of worn out of it. So I want some something that's going to be a little bit. Ooh, this might be too tight. I don't like the way this band has it's kind of showing out here but this is the first time first time ever trying this so and I don't think I've ever seen any I've never seen and actually never seen anybody do this before so um that's what the back looks like And I'll just finish up with a little bit of hair gel to touch those edges. And I'm using TGIN Curling Balm. I like this because it's moisturizing and it's not. When I'm doing simple styles like this and I don't need a whole lot of hold. I just use this gel, but if I need a lot of hold, that's when I use my Eco Styler gel. 
because my hair is hard to hold. Get my brush. So I'm going to call this my yeast roll. My yeast tuck and roll. Like a piece, you know, like a yeast roll, piece of bread. That's what it reminds me of. And this should last me for the rest of the week. Or at least a couple of days. Because I, I didn't really twist it that tight. But as long as you have it wrapped at night, it should last. And I like the way it's kind of crisscrossed in the front. Not sure what the back is looking like, so don't roast me if it ain't coming out that, you know, all that. But this is just something that, you know, put on some cute little earrings and you good to go and it, it's a cute little quick little style didn't take too long probably like five ten minutes to do so I'm all about you know just dipping and zipping and dipping and that would be it y'all I'm gonna probably be trying to come up with some more rolling tuck styles because I really do love of course my town that's what my banner you know that's what I'm focused on is protective hair styling and hair maintenance and hair growth so if you're new to the channel that's basically what I focus on is hair maintenance hair growth um, if you have hair challenges if you have um, hair loss or anything like that and then also just coming up with styles that are help your hair grow so any type of um, that's the direction and then also I kind of throw in there you know self care skin care beauty and um, Self-esteem, self-confidence, um, self-identity, those type of topics. Not really topics, but I, you know, throw that in there too because we have to not only focus on our outside, but really focus on the inside of being and becoming. You know, constant process never ends throughout life. You're constantly growing. You're constantly shifting and changing and transitioning. So. We're going to be hopefully transitioning to 2021 pretty soon. And, you know, as I feel, 20, everybody's rushing to get out of 2020. But 2021 is just another year. You know, it's nothing. I'm not looking for anything dramatically to, you know, shift. It all basically stems from the choices that individuals make. That's what makes the shift and the change. So your mindset has to be changed and transformed for you to be able to see change in your life. So on that note, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being patient with me <laughs> as I just kind of like fumble through doing a hairstyle. But um, I appreciate you supporting and watching and thanks for my oldies but goodies. Always nice to see y'all and have a enjoy the holidays. Um, keep your mind focused on positive things, on the things that bring you joy. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.